Never Stop Learning, week 179. We're going to take a quick look at the Live Paint Bucket options in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. All right, so here I got some artwork on my artboard. I'm going to go ahead and select this. And now I want to bring up my Live Paint Bucket tool. In order to do that, I want to come over here to the Tools panel. And you see right here where we have the Shape Builder tool. You want to click and hold. And in the same stack, that's where you're going to find the Live Paint Bucket. Well, you could also hit K on your keyboard to bring it up. All right, now that I got this guy activated, I'm just gonna click to make this a live paint group. And now I'm ready to go. All right, so see how this is highlighting and I have all these little icons around my cursor? Well, we have access to those if you go into the live paint bucket options. If you wanna do that, come back over here into the tools panel and double click on the live paint bucket. And that's gonna bring up your live paint bucket options. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on in here. Right here for options, by default, we're already just painting fills. We actually aren't able to paint strokes unless we turn this on, and there's also a keyboard shortcut for you to bring that up, and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. All right, so over here, cursor swatch preview. I'm gonna click OK to get out of this, and right here, if you take a look right above my cursor, this is what we're talking about. Now, if I move my arrows to the right, you see I'm able to switch through different colors. Take a look over at my swatches panel. Every time I hit the right arrow key, you see I'm highlighting a different swatch. If I want to come back towards the left, just hit the left arrow key. And if you want to switch through the different color groups that you have in your swatches panel, just use the down or up arrow keys. All right, I'll leave it over here on red, and I want to go back into my live paint bucket options. Another way to do that, I just have to re hit return on my keyboard, and that's going to bring up my live paint bucket options for me. All right, if I were to uncheck this box, click OK. Now take a look at my cursor. That little swatch preview is now missing. So let me go back into these options, bring that cursor back. And now let's talk about highlight. I'll click OK to accept that. Now check this out. If I hover over one of these fills, I start to get this little highlight around that object. All right, let's go back into the options. If I uncheck this, now, I guess that one's, there we go. Now it's not highlighting the ones that I'm hovering over. So let me get rid of that. Bring this back in here. We also have some options in here to change how it looks. So instead of it being red by default, maybe we want to go with blue. And we could go with a thicker width. Let me uh, just go with 8 for now. Click OK to accept that. Now check this out. My highlight is now blue. And it's a lot thicker than it was earlier. All right. So I'm going to come back over here. Switch it back to red. And 4. All right, down here in this bottom row, we got the last three buttons. Over here, we have tips. If you click on that, it's going to bring up your live paint bucket tips. Uh, at the moment, they only have one and two, but I'm sure they're going to add some more as you go along. All right, we'll click OK to accept that. If you were to hit cancel, it wouldn't accept any of your changes. And if you click OK, as you saw earlier, it's actually going to accept your changes. All right, so back over here at the top, we're talking about paint strokes. All right, so if I uncheck paint fills, this is going to automatically be checked. All right, if I uncheck this one, it goes back to painting fills. If I have them both checked, I'm going to click OK and accept that. And let's take a look over here at my artwork. When I hover over a fill, I have that fill highlighted. And I have a little paint bucket cursor right below. So that's how I am able to fill it in with that color. When I come over here to the stroke, you see my cursor changes. Now it's a brush. So that brush is how we were able to paint in our strokes. So if I come over here, switch to a different color and click on it, now you see we have that red stroke. Now let's go back into the options. By default, this guy's unchecked, and you might want to do that in your workflow. Let's say you have a bunch of strokes and you just want to focus on fills. Now if you're going along painting the different fills, and you change your mind and decide you want to change the color of this stroke, you can hold down the shift key, and now you have that little brush icon, and you have that path that's highlighted right there, letting you know that it's ready to be changed. All right, let's go back into these options. If I uncheck Paint Fills, so now we're only going to paint strokes. Click OK. I'll come over here. You see we have the paintbrush as a cursor. That's allowing me to change the color for these strokes. But if I hover over a fill, nothing's really happening. If I hold down the Shift key, now that fill has been highlighted, and I can change the color on the fly. All right, I'm going to go back into these options and bring it back to I had it by default. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick overview 
of your live paint bucket options in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.